Alaska Fab Shop. Today we're going to be working on my old abandoned square body we rescued a couple months ago and we're going to be getting a little bit of polish on this thing. It's uh, about 35 year old paint so we're going to see what this Sweet Patina Century polish will do on this. I think it's really going to come out good. I've been driving this thing for a little bit over a month and a half now. Finally starting to get some bugs worked out on this thing. And I just kind of want the paint to come back to where I think it can. So that's kind of where we're at. So let's get this thing pulled up and we will get it sprayed off, cleaned up. So just a quick trip down memory lane. This is the truck when we found it. As you can see, it was pretty rough and the finish was definitely lacking. We have a cleanup video on just kind of getting everything off of this, but as you can see, this thing set for a little while and definitely accumulated a little bit. But I think with just a little bit of work, we'll get it all lined out. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, I'm just going to start things off with a little foam can in here. Just got some of the sweet patina soap in here. I don't remember what it's called, bubblish or something, but just going to hit this all over the truck that way we can just knock a lot of this dust off of it as you can see it is pretty dusty and dirty from just sitting around and just we get a lot of farm fields and stuff around us so we get a lot of dust in the fall and all that stuff so. sprayed down pretty clean and everything I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna wipe it down again with uh, all-purpose cleaner by Sweet Patina I'm using solely his products wipe it down with this and that'll kind of just get all the crud left behind that maybe I didn't get with the pressure washer and soap and then we can start kind of polishing around on it so I'm not a detailer by any means so I'm sure some of you guys are gonna let me know in the comments Maybe I messed up something, but that's fine because I think it's going to turn out pretty good. So just got a microfiber here and the APC or the So Fresh So Clean, whatever you want to call it. Going to go over that. Just going to start getting this thing cleaned up a little bit before we start the polishing. Alrighty, I'm just going to plan to start on half of this roof and we'll just kind of play around with it. Half of this hood, I know I just said root. But uh, yeah, we'll do that and we'll go from there. Well, so you know, I'm not lying to you. I've never polished anything at all. So here's my little buffer I've got here. Uh, I'm probably gonna go for this big wool pad here. I've seen a lot of people use that. I know these smaller pads and stuff like that are kind of more aggressive so i'll probably stay away from those because the paint is kind of thin which here's that wool pad there that might actually be pretty good but here's that all-purpose cleaner i'll be using so fresh so clean and then sweet patina century polish so be using both of these products and that's my game plan like i was saying definitely not the guy to be that's a sanding pad that doesn't sound good sounds pretty aggressive and it's got some microfiber towels in here that's uh however you say that batonka i don't know how you say it <laughs> let's put your sunglasses on there you guys kind of missed it i uh plug this unit in and I guess I had the throttle lock on there that thing was dancing around everywhere that was pretty entertaining but let's see what we got here I don't know if I've even used this one. Oh yeah I have <laughs> okay that's a lot on that I'm just going off what I've seen people do online so we'll see what happens here and we'll just kind of tap around here in a couple spots Seems pretty aggressive. So 
you guys get to polish the first vehicle with me that I've ever polished. Hopefully it turns out decent. And I don't screw everything up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Blake did say he didn't know how it would do on this silver because the silver is very chalky, so we shall see, I guess. All right, let's try the fender real quick. All right, I'm gonna work on this side just a little bit more. Be back in just a second. Just a quick little update. I mean, I know I could probably get a lot more aggressive in here, but man, Look at that. You can see a good reflection in there. That's going to be good enough for me. I mean, you, you can get a good shadow in there. So that's going to be good enough for me. I know I could go in here, polish this all out a lot more. But if you're used to my content, you know this is already a lot shinier than what I'm used to. So this is what we got right now. That's what we had. So... That's pretty solid for me. And later on, I might come back and do a little bit more. Still gotta get these old pinstripe stickers off here. I've been slowly working at getting those things off with the pressure washer. What that is, it's just that stuff you see at AutoZone people put on, um, they're just a little white stick on pinstripe, so. Oh, this is a big vehicle to learn on, I guess, uh, for my first little polish trip so I guess I'll be pretty good at it by the time I get done so I'm just gonna keep on grinding out on this thing and we'll see what the end result is hopefully the sun is going down so it might have to be something we continue into the other day So I've got this thing all the way done. Um, I could probably stand to hit the roof a little bit better and probably do it again. And I probably will, but for right now, it's looking really good. I'm gonna hit it with some happy ending quick detailer. Just kind of get some of the smears if I left anything behind. So that's what I'm gonna do for now. Get this thing all wiped down and I'll get you guys in here and let you see what you think. Alrighty, so as you can see, the old truck cleaned up pretty good. I mean, it's dang shiny. And if you're here from the original video where we pulled this thing out of the woods, to see this where it's at right now is just about insane. You can see it's got a heck of a lot of shine. Even back here on this old GMC tailgate that was pretty heavily patinaed, um, it even came out really good. So I know that I could probably get a lot more aggressive and shine this thing up even farther but for me this is going to be plenty good it looks great so yeah let me know uh if you would ever use any kind of century polish or any kind of polish at all um 
But if you do decide to want to use some of Sweet Potatoes products, you can use the code right here. Save you 5% off at discount. Helps me out. Helps Blake out. He's a great dude. So give him some love. Go get you some products. But that's all we're doing today. Hopefully here before long on the old dually, we get rid of this tank and get back to the actual tanks on the truck. Got a couple other things coming up. I'd like to get this thing lowered a little bit maybe before winter gets here. But a lot of big plans. Let me know what you would do to this old truck. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.